Hello YouTube! So I thought I would start making some videos to help out other IB students and, or other people who are interested in subjects in the IB that I will be talking about. And uh, basically I want to make videos uh, for the syllabus in some subjects if I feel like it. And right now I feel like it. So today I'm studying psychology and I'm, I want to, before school starts, I want to have gone through the whole... Um, syllabus I suppose so I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna do each learning outcome in its own video uh, learning outcome yeah uh, in each its own video so this is gonna be um, from the fun like uh, section one in our psychology syllabus I have standard level psychology with the section seven health psychology for like the extra option or whatever and um, I'm gonna start with research, like from the beginning, with research psychology and methodology, and you know how we do research in psychology. So the first le learning outcome, the first thing we need to know is uh, we need to be able to define psychology. So technically speaking, you only need to know the definition, but in order to memorize all the shit you need to know in the IB, it's a good idea to kind of have keywords and actually know what it is, kind of. So. The definition that is in this book, um, which is, I don't know, I think it's a typical book that you use, it's from Oxford stuff, uh, for IB psychology. And the definition that is stated there is, psychology is the scientific study of mental processes and behavior and how these are affected by internal processes and the environment. I have a PowerPoint here, that's why I'm looking down. Um, so some key words there is scientific, mental processes, behavior, and, and internal processes, and the environment. So I'm just going to go through those step by step and kind of why the definition stands as it is. Although some psychologists do not agree that, like, as to what should be studied as a psycho psycho psychological discipline. But this is the definition that we need to know on the IB. So this is the, 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 the definition I'm going to be kind of explaining. So the key words, I'm going to do them step by step. Uh, the first one is scientific. This word is obviously something we need because if not, this could just be like psychobabble as they talk about like s popular psychology, which often doesn't really have much evidence to support itself. So in putting scientific in the uh, definition, it states that it is, you know, reliable, like if you study psychology, it's a systematic and controlled study of human behavior. So it includes, just as biology or chemistry or physics, data collection in different ways, such as interviews, you know, brain scans and things that are scientific. So it is a scientific study, because uh, if not, if that wasn't in the definition, it could be popular psychology or like psychobabble, which isn't often reliable although some psychologists have posted books on it so uh, but yeah and the next keyword is mental processes which is um, a covert process is it covert processes and the way I remember that is that uh, co covert is like covered processes so we can't see them and mental processes is basically like attention memory emotions and attitudes and etc stuff that you can't directly measure um reliably i suppose things that are kind of covered hence co covered covert uh, and then the next keyword is behavior which is an overt um thing <laughs> and i think that that's like over kind of over the cover so it's open you can kind of measure it and see it and this is a behavior that you can observe directly in whoever or whatever kind of behavior you're studying or it can be measured by instruments such as aggression, helping or even sleeping for instance sleeping you can measure with brain waves and that is obviously scientific um, and the next keyword is internal processes um, which is basically the nature of psychology like the biological part of it kind of uh, which can be hormones, genes, and so on and so forth, which brings us to the debate of nature versus nurture in this definition. It's obviously included in it. And um, 
yeah, it's important that you have the nature and nurture thing because there has been discussions for such a long time in psychology when it comes to nature and nurture, what is the most prominent. But I think in the general, generally speaking, psychologists agreed that it's just both, it's interaction like nature and nurture. So the next one is the environment, which is nurture. And that is like where you surround yourself, like uh, where you grew up, etc. Basically, um, your environment. So it's um, all these key words are important to bring into this definition. And that leads us to the final definition, which I stated in the beginning. Psychology is the scientific study of mental processes and behavior and how these are affected by internal processes and the environment. So that's what you really got to remember. You don't have to, I don't think you have to remember like the explanations for it because it only says define psychology. And that is really important in the IB that you look at uh, the command terms, like if it says outline, define, explain, and so on and so forth, or discuss. Uh, these are really important to know because it's really specific what you need to know. So you only need to define psychology, but these remembering these keywords and why these words are in the definition will help you rem memorize the definition. So that was um, the first learning outcome, which I will call 1.1, I suppose. I don't know. So... Yeah, thanks for watching, comment if you're an IB student or anyone else who is interested and I will probably post more because I find that it helps me learn to kind of um, speak about it even though I'm not an expert in psychology or anything but I kind of stimulate more senses if I talk to some t someone or something or whatever, talking to my iPad, that's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this and have a nice day, bye!